In today's video, it's gonna be a tutorial on how to build this insanely cool, awesome, above ground bunker. What's going on, guys? This is YoMikeSir238. For those of you who are new, I usually do building tutorials and whatnot, and today, that is exactly what we're doing. We've got these new blocks, so I'm trying to rack my brains as of late just to find a bunch of new cool designs, and this design turned out so cool. I really hope you guys enjoy this vid video and this build. If you guys do like this, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and help me out, because right now, we're only at 390 subscribers, something like that, I, I, 350 maybe, and I want I want to keep growing the audience so that I can do more awesome videos like this for you guys. With the amount of time I have, I'm usually limited, so make sure to tell your friends about it and whatnot. But with that said, this is a very, very cool build. I would say it's a kind of steampunk industrial apocalyptic bunker. It looks like it has had a rough time with all the rust and everything, and it just turned out so well. Uh, I, I'm gonna put the building materials up in just one second, but just so you guys can have one last look at it, just, just look at it. E even when you walk inside, this thing looks so absolutely epic. So. Let's put up the building materials and I hope you guys do enjoy this video. So the very first thing we're going to do as usual is establish our grid, which right here on the sign it says it is 15 wide by 24 long. That is 15 wide right here by 24 long this way as well. And for our materials, we're going to go ahead and get wax lightly weathered copper, wax lightly weathered cut copper, wax light, just, just these materials right here in my inventory. I don't want to read those all out. That's a tongue twister right there. What we're gonna do too is, I think we're gonna establish the frame of it first and then we'll do the texturing at the very end. So even though we have these materials now, we might replace them just a little bit later and uh, uh, do a lot of texturing with them. But let's go ahead and just establish the frame, which the frame I'm gonna use a mixture of these two blocks right here that I'm swiveling through. We're gonna go up one, two, three with these blocks and we're gonna go up one, two. We're gonna go up one diagonally. Then we're gonna go one, two. And we're gonna go one, two, three. And then we're just going to basically repeat this except mirrored down. So we're going to put one, two, or just two blocks, yeah. We're going to go one diagonally, then we're going to go one, two down. Then we're going to go one, two, three down right there. And as you can see, that's what it should look like is the very first frame. We'll actually go ahead and we're going to repeat this as well. So we're going to do one, two, three. We're going to go up one, two. And this is a pretty simple build, but it does look very nice. So sometimes simple is just what you need, but basically, we're just going to repeat the same pattern that we just did going all the way down like so until we have it reach the ground right here. As you can see, this is the first frame of our bunker. We're going to connect the bottom half by this slab right here. And unfortunately, this is the only slab we have of this kind of color. We do have the other uh, types of copper, but they're usually too bright or too, too green. So now what we're going to do is we're going to connect these by stairs. So we're going to just put a stair on every single block going up and that one right there so that the frame looks a little bit more rounded off and now that we got that you can see this is the first official frame from there we'll get our slabs out the waxed lightly weathered slabs we're gonna go one two three four five six seven we'll do the same thing over here one two three four five six seven and if you guys guessed it we're actually going to do the exact same thing where we just did with uh those pillars over there are the, the kind of rounded off shapes. We're basically just gonna make this shape again. And I'm probably not gonna keep doing this just because at this point you probably already know how to do it, but basically we'll repeat the same thing. We'll have it go one slab over, one slab over, and repeat this shape going over here. And then what we're gonna do one last time is we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're gonna repeat the frame again going up with the rounded arch and everything like that and the connecting slabs right there. So we'll go ahead and get these three sets of arches done, and that should be the framing done. The cool thing about this bunker too is if you guys ever want to expand it and go say more than just two sections of the bunker, you can. It's very easy to expand. You just keep repeating this pattern over and over again, and it makes it so that you can create an infinitely big uh, kind of bunker that we got going on. With these three arches, now that we have them done, we'll go ahead and go into our materials. We're gonna get tough andesite and tinted glass as well. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna use a tough and mixturing of it with it with the andesite, kind of how we mixed up these two blocks right here. We're gonna just mix these two up as we go up. So just every once in a while randomly replacing it. And you'll just do it literally just one block below each time so that uh, we get this smaller arch right here. So we're just gonna keep going around, keep going down, placing random assortment of andesite and tough until we have it looking like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. When you go out on the outside now too, you can see this is what it looks like. It should just look like it's one block in. And we'll do that for each of these arches. So you do that same thing on this arch and this arch as well. But for the sake of the video and the time of the video, I'm just gonna keep, um, I'm just gonna keep doing one section only. So now what we'll do is we'll mix with the tough and the andesite still. So we'll just start going up and making another kind of layer 
of these two blocks, kind of like so. Uh, you, you might want to go back and retexture later too once you're building, but this is kind of what it should be looking like. And then we'll have the same kind of arch that we've been having. So we'll have the tuff go up here a little bit, but now we're going to start mixing in tinted glass too. So we'll have one layer of one by two uh, tinted glass and it goes five long. Then we're going to continue the arch. So we're going to keep going up just one block below the copper line. And then we'll do another layer of one by five glass. So right there in the middle. And then what we'll do is we'll just kind of ignore the glass from there on out because that is a window. And we'll instead just kind of have, oops, I accidentally went one, one block right there. You want to have this on the same layer of the arch. And then basically you'll just kind of repeat the pattern as it goes down just to uh, continue the tuft and just kind of mirror. This is a very symmetrical base, which makes it a lot easier to replicate and reproduce. It's kind of why I did it like this, just because it was so, it's, it, it, again, it's a simple design, but it's a really cool design at the same time. It makes the base look really nice, very rustic and very, uh, almost like an apocalyptic kind of base, I guess you could say. But now that we got that, we'll continue the arch right here. And like I said, we'll only have the sides go up because on this side, we're gonna wanna do the glass as well. So then we'll have the glass right there. And this tinted glass oh, looks so beautiful. Now, now that we got that, we'll have it go up one more time with the arch right there. We'll have the glass go across. And then we'll finish off this roof right here. So that looks something like this. As you can see, the bunker is definitely starting to come together now. So again, I'm not gonna do it on video, but basically you'll fill in the arch over here and do the same window design over here and then we'll move on to the next section. So now that we got the walls set in place and you will probably notice, I actually forgot these stairs on the arches last time. So make sure you put the stairs because they do add a bit of roundness to the whole thing. Let's go ahead and get a material. So it can be tinted glass, smooth stone, tough, and to cite these three types of copper, the lightning rods and the iron trap doors as well. And the first thing we're gonna do when doing the front and the back is we'll get some smooth stone and we're just gonna put a line of smooth stone right here and we're gonna skip a block and place another line of smooth stone going all the way across. And for the time being, I will texture this up and everything, but I'm just gonna get the tough and just fill this whole wall in. We will be replacing some blocks for windows and some blocks for doors, but just to make it a bit easier and a bit quicker, we're just gonna fill it all in with the tough for the time being. So once we have that all filled in, we'll go ahead and you can see we have a three middle, a three block wide middle. So down below, we're actually gonna make a three by three wide door. And then we're gonna break the edges as well. So we're gonna break these three blocks and these three blocks and the ones below them and replace them with these two types of copper. So like that. And now that we got that, we'll get the stairs and we're gonna create a kind of industrial door. It's gonna kind of look like it can close. We're gonna place three stairs going in the same direction like that, break these three glass blo grass blocks and then we're gonna uh, place three of the copper blocks in the opposite direction. So that looks like this door could actually close if it wanted to. From there, we'll get our tinted glass and we're gonna create a two by five space on top of this right here and fill it all in with the tinted glass. And then we're gonna create two windows as well. So two one by two windows right here and right here as well. And from there, if you really wanted to, which you probably should, I'll actually just throw a tiny bit of texture into this so that it doesn't look completely nasty. So that looks pretty good for the uh, texturing for the time being. From there, we'll get our lightning rods and we're actually gonna place one lightning rod here. We're gonna place one lightning rod here one here and one here as well. So four lightning rods in total. We're gonna place a trap door underneath this one. We're gonna place one, two, three, four, five trap doors underneath those ones and one trap door right there, iron trap door underneath that. So that we get this kind of an entrance to our apocalyptic steampunk-ish uh, industrial bunker, I guess you could say. So from there, We'll go ahead and we'll also do the backside as well. For the backside, we don't need to worry about the smooth stone, but we do need to fill this whole wall in again, like we did last time. So I'm gonna try to, once again, do this as quickly as I can. And then maybe maybe I'll texture it just off camera so that you don't have to see me texturing it again. But let's go ahead and fill this whole wall in with the tuff. And much like the other one, we're actually gonna, we're not gonna have a door because this is the back of the bunker, but we will line it up with this three by three area. So right here, if we break one, two, three blocks, and right here, if we break one, two, three blocks and then connect them at the top, you'll see it's very similar to the doorway over there and it's supposed to be, this is just the back of it. So we'll just go ahead and get some mixture of the copper, the weathered copper and put some right there going around it like that. That's what that should look like. Then we'll replace the two by five area. Once again, it's a very symmetrical base, but we'll replace this with a tinted glass on top. And you guys probably guessed that we're gonna do the windows right here and right here as well. Then we'll just get the uh, lightning rods and we'll just go ahead and place these in the exact same places with the exact same trap doors underneath, like so. 
And that is the back of the base done. So now I'll go ahead and replace this with the andesite off camera and then we'll work on the next part. For our next materials, we're gonna go ahead and get calcite, polished diorite, polished diorite stairs, polished blackstone bricks, slabs, and blackstone slabs like great carpet, dark oak fence gate, iron trap doors, and chain as well. Ooh, that's a lot of materials. So what we're gonna do for this next part is pretty simple. Um, we're gonna get the blackstone slabs and use a mixture of the bricks and the blackstone as well. And we're gonna go on this layer right here and basically to make this look a little bit more connected, we're gonna go all the way across, so all the way across like so. Then we're gonna go up here and we're gonna do the same thing. So on this block, on this layer right here, we're gonna go ahead and put the blackstone slabs and try to go all the way across until we reach the other side. Right there, texture that up just a tiny bit. Nice. Now that we got that, you can see the black stone looks nice. It connects the whole base. We'll actually do this on the other side. I'm not going to do this side right now just because for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and just do texture up one side of it. But now what we'll do, now that we got that, we'll actually get our trap doors. And right here, we're going to place just a variation of trap doors going across so that we get this nice looking railing going across the whole thing. Again, sometimes you want to put some up trap doors. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you just do a diagonal trap door as well. But once we get this, oop. And we'll actually not put them in the sides, but once we get the trap doors going across, that looks really nice. So we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and stick with that. Now we'll get a dark oak fence gate and the dark oak fence gate. Basically, we'll just open them up. If you watched my last factory build, I did a very similar technique, but it adds a bit more detail to the build that it wouldn't have otherwise. So we'll just do this with the dark oak trap doors, placing them on the blocks that I'm placing them on right there. Nice. Now that we got that. We'll go ahead and get our light gray carpet, and this is just to make the windows feel a bit more connected to the base, so we'll actually put light gray carpets right here, so we're gonna put seven right there, and then five right there on top, and we'll do the same thing over here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, on top like that, nice. And that makes the glass actually feel like it's a part of the build and not just jutting out. You can see it adds that one pixel of, of attachment to the walls, which is good, we need that. Now we'll get the chain. Chain, I might struggle on just placing it, but basically we'll have one layer of chains going all the way across sideways like so. So we'll have this going all the way across, and I'm actually doing pretty good with uh, placing the chains right now. I usually, when I was doing this in my test world, I, ca I cannot get the chains in the right spots, but there we go. We'll have that chain like that uh, just going all the way across. And once again, remember, we'll do this on this side too eventually, but for this video, for the sake of this video, I'm just doing one side. Now that we got that, We'll use a mixture of calcite and polished diorite because these two blocks go so well together. And we'll just create a line of blocks going across the very top right like that. We'll get our trap doors and we'll use three trap doors each time we have an intersection. So we'll have one, two, three right there. One, two, three. And then you guessed it, one, two, three as well right there. We'll get our light gray carpet and we can just kind of spitter patter uh, across the top. This does a little bit of mob proofing, but it also adds just a bit more texture to the whole build itself. So we can just do that like so. And in, in the spots that you know you don't have uh, carpets and stuff, you can just put string or just some sort of lighting right there and that will work just fine. Now that we got that, I think that should be just about it. Make sure to do the, the other side and I'll check and see what else we have to do for this tutorial before we move on to texture. And it looked like the one thing that I was kind of missing was just these polished diorite stairs. So let's go ahead and uh, just add this detail real quick. Basically, just every other block will add a stair. And this just adds a tiny bit more detail to the build. I did forget that. And over here, you can see I still haven't done the other side, but that's just because I think now that we've got that done, just that one last detail, we're actually gonna go ahead and jump into my other world and show all the texturing. So let's go ahead, save and quit from this practice, build tutorial world and hop into the real one. So here it is, the real one right here. And yeah, it looks it looks a lot nicer. That's just because I added a bunch more detailing, a bunch more uh, texturing and whatnot, which I'll explain in this video. One of the things I might have said in the intro was that I wanted to try to use every single new block, which didn't end up working the greatest. As you can see, I tried to make it look like we got some you know green pipes coming out into this sparkly amethyst floor over there. But I just I just couldn't incorporate all the blocks. I, I still don't know if I really liked this thing, this this part or not. I don't know if I like that, but but yeah. Let me just go ahead and show you what I did for the texturing. So I did incorporate some copper ore and some stone stairs, stone slabs and whatnot, just to add a kind of ore variation to make this look like it's a mining plex. So I added a bunch of the copper ore. You'll see over here, I did the exact same thing. Tons of copper ore with the slabs and the stone, making it look like we got half copper ore slabs, which that looks really cool. I got these tripwire hooks, and just on each corner, I added two tripwire hooks. I don't know why, but I felt like this just added to the bunker, so I kept it, the two trapdoors, or the, the tripwire hooks, not trapdoors. 
Then we got acacia buttons on basically every post that we can place it on. So you can see we got the, the acacia buttons there, there, right there, right there, and just all over the place. That looks really good. Obviously we do for some detailing have some more of the rusted pipe kind of coming out and it looks like we got some pipes going into the build itself. That's a kind of cool detail right there. For more texturing with the copper, because I didn't want to go too copper crazy, a lot, of you, a lot of you guys commented in my last video that I did a little too much copper, which I totally agreed with. So I kind of balanced it out with polished granite, polished granite stairs, and then polished granite slabs as well. You can see over here, I did a lot of texturing so that we didn't overwhelm the copper factor of this build. Another thing you might keep noticing is that I actually did add some cobblestone blocks along with the andesite. So if we go over here, you can see we did add some cobblestone stairs, some cobblestone blocks, and this just adds a bit more variation to the walls and whatnot, makes it look a little bit nicer. And then from there, I, I think that's really the build basically finished. Like I said, it's a pretty simple, pretty easy build. It's very symmetrical, so it's very easy to replicate. And you can extend the space as long as you want. Um, because it's an infinite design. It, it, you can just keep extending it, extending, extending it, which I don't think I've ever had a base like that before. So that's really cool. But yeah, and then I added some just, you know, fine, some fun details like the furnaces, the, the cauldron with the lava in it, the TNT over here and with red candles looking like little TNTs on top. Then over here, I added like a mine cart, the pipes and whatnot, and some stone cutters. But as you can see, that is the bunker finished. It looks really, really cool. I, I, I'm happy with the way the design turned out. Comment down below if you guys liked it. But with that said, that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I had so much fun building it and it, it turned out so cool in the end. With that said, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know what that's gonna be. It's gonna be a fun one, maybe a build tutorial, maybe just some random video. I, I have no idea, but I'll see you guys in the next one and enjoy Minecraft. Ciao.